um, because by now you're aware um, that Lori Lightfoot and J.B. Pritzker have been shipping migrants to the suburbs. And I've heard repeatedly how concerned um, people are um, that they'll be sent to Orland Park. I share these concerns. I think the board shares these concerns. Um, first off, um, these policies from Lori Lightfoot and J.B. Pritzker are both immoral and they're illegal. Both of them should be ashamed of treating people like chattel. Why should we be surprised, though, when they have been treating our residents and citizens like serfs since they've been in office? They have endangered us all. As we know from the recent Inspector General's report, the people coming across the border illegally are not being vetted properly. It is inconceivable to think that there aren't common criminals, members of criminal organizations, and terrorist organizations among the people that are being shipped to the suburbs, many of whom are innocent people. They have both flouted the laws of our nation, and they, are, think, they, they think they are above them by declaring Chicago a sanctuary city and Illinois a sanctuary state. Why should we be surprised? J.B. Pritzker has been acting like he's in the monarchy since COVID. Let me be very clear. Orland Park is not a sanctuary village. This is unacceptable from them. If this is attempted, the village will take action. First, we will treat these people like human beings and will not engage in shuffling them around like J.B. Pritzker and Lori Lightfoot have. Second, we will keep our residents and legal visitors safe by doing everything in our power to vet and document those that are brought here. Third, we will explore every legal option available to us against the state, the county, and the city of Chicago. Lastly, we will keep you as informed as legally possible every step of the way. A civil society and a nation cannot survive with uncontrolled immigration, allowing lawless residents within its borders and with laws like the Safety Act. All of these actions are designed to encourage and enable criminality at the expense of law and order and cannot be allowed to stand. We will continue to fight for the safety and well-being of our residents and our citizens.